What's up ninjas? It's Dee here. It has been a very long time since my last tutorial, but today I'm going to show you how to use tits. It's this program where chat can throw things at you. They can use your channel points, redeem them, and yeah, just chuck stuff at you in the middle of stream. It's a lot of fun, and I've been dreading making this because it's, it's pretty complicated trying to get this set up, so bear with me. This is going to be a longer video, so let's get started. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go to the website, I'll link it below, and purchase the program. You just go download it for Windows, and yes, it works for both Live 2D for this 2D model, and it works for VC Face for a 3D model. I've tried both, it does work. Um, yeah, so go ahead and buy it. You're gonna get a zip file, unzip it. It's gonna be an EXE program. You're just gonna launch it, just like you launch VC Face and whatever. Every time you start stream, you have to launch both your tracking software and the tits program. Okay, so now that you have your streaming software opened, we're going to start adding the VTube Studio or VC Face and the tits program so that they can start talking to each other. In order to do that, you're going to go to whatever scene you want to use, doesn't matter, create a new one if you want. You're going to go to sources, hit add, game capture. You're going to add a game capture for both VTube Studio and tits. So VTube Studio, of course, you go a specific window. You're going to go to VTube Studio. Both, both these programs have to be open in order for it to be read, right? Go ahead and hit allow transparency. Same exact thing for tits. You're going to go add a new scene, allow transparency, capture specific window, and do Twitch integrate throwing system. Now what I did is that I put these two into their own folder. See, you can see that I have the setup for tits, I have the VC face or live 2D in one folder, and I use this specific folder and I throw in every single scene so that it's just together. You need this, you need this together in order for it to work, right? So you're gonna put in any scene that you're gonna use. All right, so now that you have your scene set up in OBS, we're going to go to connecting the actual program to Twitch and the program to VTube Studio so that it actually tracks. So you're going to go up to connections and hit Twitch. And what's going to happen is a window is going to appear for you to sign on. So a screen is going to pop up and you're going to have to sign on to Twitch. And once you do that, it'll say login complete like above. And that's it for this part. Now the next thing we're going to want to do is make sure it's connected to VTube Studio. To do that, you're going to open the program in the settings, so this cogwheel. Go ahead, hit the first one, go down to VTube Studio, hit Start API Plugins, and this is how it connects to the actual TITS integration system. And then once you go back to TITS, you'll see that it is all connected, so you are good to go. Same thing with VC face. It's going to ask you to connect it, do the program. Honestly, it reads pretty easily. Cool. So now that VTube Studio is connected, you will notice that um, there is this option to do use outline mode. And this is really cool with this update. So basically, you're going to want to keep an eye on your OBS, right? And you're going to hit adjust head and go ahead and hit where and go ahead and click where your head is. I'm currently looking at my OBS screen because tits is being overlaid on top of VTuber Studio. So looking at your OBS screen where it's layered, right? Go ahead and find where your head is. Mine is there. Go ahead, adjust your chest like so. Your crotch and your feet, I mean, if you know, if you really want to do that. And the whole miss is it's just, my model so I'm gonna put it there so now when I'm moving around you'll see that the, the little words are moving as if like it's tracking my body right so when I test out the shots it is correctly hitting the place it's supposed to but this is really neat this updates really cool so now you don't have to like manually adjust your body if you if you use outline mode if you don't use outline mode then you have to like you have to do this you have to find out where your body is but I like this one this is cool yeah so now now your targets are hitting the proper body parts 
and I'm going to show you how to actually integrate like Twitch um, commands to this. You're going to notice that it's going to go back to the old version because I filmed this at two different times of my life. <laughs> so under the second one, cogwheel is the settings. You're going to want to change the graphics to what you want it to be. It's totally up to you. You can do full screen if you want. You can change your resolution. The audio is like the sound of like hitting you. Of course, Twitch is authenticated, so this should be good to go. You can change the hotkeys for like manual throw in case something, you know, if you want, whatever. And then the trigger menu is the actual thing that your channel redeems are named. So this is what I have, like hydrate, feed, whatever. I'm going to show you how to make a new one. We're going to make a new trigger. You're going to select it, name it, whatever you want. Feed me, redeem. Change your cooldowns if you need. I don't usually have cooldowns, and I'm only going to throw one at a time. Now the trigger is for channel points, but yes, you can do bits, subs, follows, commands, whatever it is. So there's a lot of options. You can go crazy with this. But I'm just going to show you how to get it started. Now, the redeem title has to be the same name as what you're going to name it on, on Twitch. You know, like when Twitch says hydrate me, you have to name this the same. So this already says throw something at my face. So you know what? We're going to use the same exact redeem title on Twitch. So object customization just means what you exa what exactly you want thrown at you in the model importer area. So as you can see, I already added a ton of stuff. Um, all of these are just PNG images. You can find them online. You can buy them from people who sell on their coffee store. Um, yeah, I just have a ton already and it's really easy to add. To do so, you're just gonna just gonna right click, hit import PNG if you have a flat image with no background, or import model if you have like an OBJ file. That's a 3D file if you don't know what that is. But most people honestly PNGs would probably be easiest because you can just Google search PNG images to just import. It's gonna ask you what to import. I just imported a cat right here. See. That's what I am born in. So we're gonna throw a cat at my face. So going back to channel redeem, we're gonna name this. Fuck it, we're gonna name throw cat. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna deselect all of this. To deselect, you're just gonna drag, like drag it, disable. So if it's in if it's in yellow, that means it's selected. Oh god. Okay. Let's disable all. Because that's an option. If you right click, right click, you can see all this. I'm going to go to the cat. I'm going to hit enable selected. So now only the cat is going to get thrown at my face using this. I want it to, I want to be knocked back when it hits me, right? And right here is another option. It could stick to you like it sticks to your face for a couple seconds or it disappears like it just, I don't know, disappears kind of weird to me. But when you use it, you'll see what it means. Uh, you can change the scale, the strength, and the speed. So speed as which is chucked at you, the strength at what it hits you. So like how far back you get knocked back. So if, hmm. I usually keep it the way it is, but I'm just going to show you guys in this example exactly the randomness of this. We're going to say throw cat. That's the redeem title. We're going to only throw one. Cool down zero. Now, <laughs> now I'm going to go to Twitch and I'm going to go channel redeems to add it. To add it to uh, my actual uh, channel redeem points, I need to show you guys how to do this by showing you my Twitch now. So if you don't know how to get to this, you can Google channel points, rewards. Um, hopefully a lot of you guys know how to use this already. If not, boof. Um, go to the bottom, add new custom reward. It has to be named exactly the same as this name to Ted. So it's throw cat. That's it. There's no expository. There's one, one letters capitalized. One isn't, it has to be exactly the same. Okay. Now optional, you don't have to do it. So let's just do F it. Uh, you don't even have that image if you don't want to. So don't worry about it. Go ahead, create. So now it is right here. It says, oh, where is it? Throw cat. So 
we're on my stream. I'm going to write throw cat. Oh, wait, no, I'm sorry. I'm going to redeem throw cat like this. I'm going to hit redeem and a cat gets thrown at me. Correct? So that is what should happen. If you named it and followed this exactly right, something gets thrown at you. So as you can see, I have other stuff like hydrate and a bottle gets thrown at me or I have feed me and food gets thrown at me. This should, <laughs> this should work. And if it doesn't work, something went wrong, obviously. So now let's just pretend I'm chatting with stream and on the side, you know, someone's redeeming something. You should be solid. Again, tits and your tracking program, in this case, VTube Studio has to be open. If one of these, or sorry, if tits is closed, like you forget to open it during stream, you're not gonna see anything. You're gonna hear the sound, but you're not gonna see anything thrown at you. So it's very important you have both open. I cannot stress this enough. Now I'm just gonna show you guys the random stuff that I have already started on mine. Like, yeah. So how did I do that one? You're gonna go back. I'll show you what mine was. I named it Bongo Cat. Cooldown's 10 seconds because I don't want everyone fucking throwing cats at me. I threw 17. You can go ahead and throw fucking 100. It will be... You know, what happens if you do 100? <laughs> uh, I picked only the cats. Here's the strength, the scale, the speed. Knockback is what makes it actually push you downward. Oh, aim customization. I'm sorry. This is like... This is how or where you want the thing to be thrown at you from so for regular ones like for the feed me i just have it thrown at my head so it's just auto it's normal now for bongo cat i wanted to come out from the top so that one looks like this overlay reactive it's normal but i pick where i wanted to hit so that you can go ahead and, you know, you can throw it at your crotch if you wanted to. It's interesting. If you do screen relative, it's just going to come out from the top of your screen. So like when you're playing a game, it's just going to be from the top. Test it out, you guys. Just like have fun with it. All right. So we're going to do Bongo Cat again, but it's throwing at my crotch and they're going to throw 100. I've never done this, but let's let's just try it. a lot of cats um i guess because it's coming from the top it doesn't actually hit your crotch so if i do it if i change it to auto it gets thrown at your crotch holy crap <laughs> okay yeah so that's there you go you can get stuff thrown at you and i guess you move upward because of the force of it so that i believe i covered everything um All right, so real quick, I'm just gonna show you guys, I guess, where you could get PNG images. Um, I like using PNG egg. There's of course a ton of other places you can use, but it's, as long as it's a PNG, guys, and you don't download malware, you'll be fine. Um, yeah, so like you can you know, type in, type in food, or you can type in cake. Oh look, see you. Look at this. So look, this is cool because it's all the same like art style. I like using things that come in a pack. Um, it will ask you if you're human. It just makes you go through this. You do not need an account. Yes, this is safe. I use PNG egg a lot. I've never downloaded anything suspicious. Go ahead, download it wherever you want. Now, of course, as you can see, this image is clumped together. So what we have to do is take it to Photoshop or anything. And what you're going to have to do is separate the photos to individual PNGs. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to erase what I don't want. Like so. Oops. Like so. And now you can just do quick exports PNG so it saves in the biggest file it is. Name it. I don't know what this is. So I'm just going to name it dish one. Now using that dish one, we're going to go back to tits. Right click. Hit import model. Import PNG. You see all this. Okay, import emotes. Oh, that's cool. Um, select if you want a new folder like the way I did it. I have them 
just labeled because it's easier for when you actually select it in channel points instead of selecting like a ton of random one offs, you can just select a whole folder. To import a model, you're going to right click. You can do PNG because that's what I like to use. I'm going to import that dish one and now it's here. And that's, that's all it is. So say if you want to add it to a folder, you just have to import it into this specific folder for it to stay here, right? Now it's here and I can delete this one. It's all right clicking. If I go to my throw screen and go to my chat, sorry, not my chat, my trigger menu, I go to any of the feed me's I can select using alt, alt key. Select that one and hit enable. So now these are enabled to be used for when randomly, it's randomly picked to be thrown at me. Ta-da. So that is how it's set up. I hope that that all made sense. I know it was a lot of changing my window to show you guys what's going on. But uh, yeah, that's... This is why I didn't, I waited very long to make this tutorial. It's, it's very complicated. And once again, when you do this, you just have to turn this off. So now when you stream, it is now blank. It'll disappear if you click off of it. And yeah, you are all set to use tits. All right, and that's it for this tutorial. If you followed all the steps, it should be working just fine. But again, feel free to comment below if you have any issues and I'll be happy to help as much as I can. Um, I really hope you guys followed the instructions because it will work if it if it if you did. <laughs> but I understand it is very confusing. I had a lot of trouble setting this up from the initial tutorials that they link in the site. So I wanted to try and help out a little more, but I don't know if I did, honestly. We'll see, depending how you guys take this. But uh yeah, Tits is a fun program. I know my chat has a lot of fun throwing shit at me during streams. It's just funny to hear you get hit, I guess. I guess people like that. Um, so hope you guys have a good one. Feel free to comment below what other tutorials you want me to make as well. And I will hope to see you guys soon. Okay, bye.